Hi and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all doing okay. I'm going to be chatting about uh, Christian Horner after he's clarified his remarks that he made yesterday about uh, Lewis Hamilton approaching Red Bull for a drive in 2024. It's quite a detailed reply so it's well worth listening to. Um, also want to have a quick catch up with Lando Norris and what Max Verstappen has had to say on uh, Lewis Hamilton going to Red Bull. So we're going to start off with Christian Horner. Christian Horner has clarified his comments over Lewis Hamilton's alleged approach to join Red Bull, claiming there was never any contact with Hamilton. Horner has since revealed that he spoke to Hamilton's father. Horner said, It's remarkable how much traction this has got. It's a question of he said, she said, who said, what said. It's entirely normal for drivers, drivers' representatives, drivers' parents to have different conversations during the course of a year. We haven't had any serious discussions with Lewis. There was never a seat available. I've known Anthony Hamilton for many years. He's a good guy, a proud racing father. Inevitably, when a driver goes through tough spots, and let's face it, Lewis hasn't won a Grand Prix in two years, questions will be asked up and down the paddock. There was never any arrangement. I don't know who represents who or what, but with the same surname, you would think they were reasonably close. It's difficult to say, but other than pleasantries, there was no specific can I drive for Red Bull next year, unless Anthony wanted to drive. As I say, that's not unusual. There's many drivers, as you can imagine, that we hear from during the course of a year. Then asked if he thinks Mercedes would be surprised to hear that Hamilton's father was in contact with Red Bull, Horner added, Not really. He's the most successful driver of all time and hasn't won a Grand Prix since 2021. You haven't got to be a rocket scientist to work that out. I doubt that I was the only one that there was an inquiry made to. What the dynamics are within any given relationship, I don't know. I'm not privy to that. But inevitably there are questions going to be asked. He finished by saying, there's not really much more to say. A lot has been made out of something fairly innocuous. He was the one who went to the media with this story in the first place, so um, I, I don't know. But going off Christian Horner, maybe it was a headline-grabbing moment that he thought, it, it just gets the media talking about the team, which is good. you know. So if the media want to run with this... That's doing Red Bull a favour at the end of the day, so fair play to him in that respect. But then we come on to Lando Norris, because he believes it could be a close qualifying session and is confident McLaren will be in the fight for pole position. Norris thinks it will be a close fight at the front, but thinks he still has some pace to find in tomorrow's session. He said, For just one session today, I was happy. The car was obviously quite quick. Definitely a bit to find. I think it's going to be very close here tomorrow in qualifying. One or two tenths is easily five, six positions come tomorrow afternoon. It's not if you're the first or last today. I don't think that really matters. But it's trying to find the little things tonight that can make a big difference come tomorrow. And I'm really excited about this because McLaren have made such massive improvements over this year. It's I, I really do hope that it carries on into 2024. And then we come on to Max Verstappen, who has spoken out on Lewis Hamilton going to Red Bull. Verstappen has claimed that pundits would use age as an excuse if he were to beat Lewis Hamilton in equal cars as teammates. When asked about the rumours ahead of the weekend, Verstappen wasn't entertaining any of them, stating, I'm not interested, I don't know anything, when I was asked about it either, it's just never going to happen. That scenario doesn't exist. Verstappen was then asked whether or not he would like the opportunity to prove himself against Hamilton, to which he replied, What do I have to prove then? I don't have to prove anything. Then, there will always be excuses like, He's too old. It's never right. There is always something else to talk about. A fight between two teammates is nice, but much nicer is a fight between multiple teams with all the good drivers in a different car. And I do think that's important. The rules have changed to bring these cars closer together apparently that hasn't really happened apart from anyone other than red bull um which is a shame because I, I was hoping to see more competition and you know with the likes of mclaren 
making massive improvements like we just discussed. Mercedes, I think, will probably come back with a strong, a stronger car in 2024. They've said it. They've already said it's going to be completely different to what they used to drive in now. Um, and then you've got to look at Aston Martin, maybe even Alpine. They're, they're all really pushing and making huge improvements, and certainly things. Yeah, you know, Haas in a straight line, Williams with Alban, phenomenal job really. So it's all quite exciting. So I'm hoping 2024 delivers what they promised when they changed these regulations so that cars were able to follow closer and it would be more competitive. I really do hope we see that next year. But um, some fascinating stuff going on out there. But it's always going to happen in it. Last race of the year, everybody wants to hit the headlines and get the media attention. So fair play to Red Bull. They've done that one brilliantly. Well, Christian Horner did anyway. But anyway, if you do like what I do, please like and subscribe. And also please consider pressing the notification bell because you'll get all those important updates of when I release a new video. And we know how exciting that is. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it. I, I bore myself. I have to read this through many times and listen to myself many times before I publish it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for listening. And until the next time, uh, take care.